Now there's three different ecological roles that mushrooms play. Parasitic, saprophytic, and mycorrhizal. The saprophytic mushrooms are mushrooms that eat dead stuff. So like this mycelium right here is in sawdust. So it's sawdust, leaves, dead logs, those are all things that saprophytic mushrooms eat. The next one is parasitic. And these are fungi that attack a living organism. And it's kind of where fungi get a bad rap, right? But one of the benefits that parasitic fungi have is bringing balance into an ecosystem. So things like cordyceps or the honey mushroom or things that attack the monocrops in, in agriculture help to bring a balanced ecosystem and not let one species get out of hand. The third ecological role is mycorrhizal. And these are fungi that create a symbiotic relationship with plants. 80 to 90% of the plants that we see have fungi attached to their roots. And these fungi expand the root zone, gathering things like nitrogen and phosphorus and water, and trade the plant for photosynthetic sugars. The mycorrhizal fungi also connect individuals. So, you, so when you see a tree in the forest, it's not just an individual tree. There's actually a network that's trading resources between the trees and trading information between these trees. It's like the internet of the forest. So now that you know the life cycle and some of the ecological roles, hopefully mushrooms are a little more demystified. And you feel comfortable going and touching them in the wild and, and picking them up in the grocery store and cooking them. If you want to learn more about how to prepare and cook and buy and grow mushrooms, hit like and subscribe.